As the NBA world watched in awe of the talent and potential of Ben Simmons, few could have predicted the harrowing reality that would soon unfold. From his all-star appearances to his Olympic medals, Simmons seemed destined for greatness. But a series of events and decisions would leave his career hanging in the balance. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the harrowing reality of Ben Simmons, from his early days in the league to his current struggles with the Brooklyn Nets, and try to understand how a player with so much promise could find himself in such a difficult position. Get ready to explore the highs and lows of one of the most fascinating and complex players in the NBA today. One of the weirdest, strangest, and most intriguing situations in league history is the one involving the Brooklyn Nets. When we last saw Ben Simmons playing, he was an NBA caliber player who didn't have any serious injuries. This guy was acquired as a part of a transition that moved James Harden, an all-NBA player, to another team. Philadelphia tried to push him out during the whole process, and now that he is in Brooklyn, he is such a liability that I believe he would need to exchange many first-round selections simply to get rid of his deal. And once a player who was intended to be a focal point of a deal for someone like James Harden, a player of all-NBA quality, turns out to be a total failure, it will create major problems for your club. The first aspect of Ben Simmons that has to be discussed is how different this season has been from his time in Philly in terms of appearance. True, his performance against Atlanta in the postseason second round and the fact that Philadelphia lost largely as a result of Simmons' pass going below the ramp may be brought into question. But Ben Simmons was a physically superior player in the years before that, particularly defensively. With the space, they could create around him and a big in Joel Embed, Philadelphia had very excellent ecology in which he could live offensively. He could go to the rim anytime he wanted. The shooting problems were what they were. Ben Simmons was a tremendous player, particularly in transition, but they could play with him. Ben Simmons is probably unplayable for Brooklyn now that he has forced his way out of Philadelphia, dealt with the problems there, and had back surgery after the previous season which is amazing since when he first arrived, theoretically, he was precisely what Brooklyn needed. Someone who, together with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, could create opportunities for those players without really needing the basketball all that much, handle a lot of experience playing off the ball in Philly, and work to lessen some of his shooting weaknesses. He is versatile and can defend and rebound. The Ben Simmons we previously saw would have been ideal playing with Katie and Kyrie, but of course, those guys are no longer around. And although it's possible to make the case that the Nets now need Ben Simmons even more, there are already reports circulating that they want to aggressively try to trade him over the summer. And for one of two reasons, I find it to be an intriguing issue. One is that, even after this season, his deal isn't as horrible as you may have anticipated. His deal is for two years and around 80 million hours. It's not as if he had just five years left to live. Also, the Nets would be disposing of him at his lowest possible value if they traded him this summer. His worth is now even lower than it was when Philadelphia sold him away for James Harden, and in my view, it will never be lower. Hence, Brooklyn must now decide what to do with its new squad, which has all these wings, selections, and options, as well as a team that requires a player like Ben Simmons. Brooklyn needs what Ben Simmons used to be, a creator and a defensive presence. With all the wings they have in Brooklyn and the older Ben Simmons, you can put together some very creative lineups right now. Simmons still fits and is precisely what you need, so there is no need to move him this summer if you believe there is still anything in him. Theoretically, his game ought to become better as he recovers from his back difficulties and whatever other problems he had in Philadelphia. The issue with that is, is that Ben Simmons' performance this year has taken on a unique and uncommon type of Russell Westbrook-like feel. Westbrook is on a whole other level since he was at least statistically effective, but the vibes and just seeing this guy play is terrible. Because of Ben Simmons' terrible performance this season, the Nets would need to trade at least one, maybe two first-round selections to get rid of his deal and get a player who can improve their squad. This is an extraordinary turn of events for a guy who was considered the ideal complement to the players they had at the time. And now that they have a bunch with a ton of space and wings, they can set up a massive outlandish defensive lineup around Simmons. He simply can't seem to find out how to be the ideal player for this squad. 
The two options Brooklyn has about Ben Simmons are the most crucial information in this essay. In any of those circumstances, they may either try to transfer him or keep him in the hopes that he develops into something in the next season. The most intriguing possibility is that Brooklyn may utilize some of the items they acquired in the KD and Kyrie deal package to get Simmons in return for the kind of player they need Simmons to be for his club, like Zach Levine or another guard who might become available around the league. The Nets need a creative, so this would be a wonderful way to acquire one in the post KD Kyrie era. They lack a creator or someone who can create for all these other men, at least not on an all-star level. Moreover, camp employment may lead to improvements. Kill Bridges and the other players on the roster are capable of improving, but you still need that main offensive player, particularly after games. Ironically, they have had a few of such over the previous several seasons, and those players were eventually sold away. Yet, whether Simmons found a way to be that player or not, they are not far from assembling a genuinely intriguing club in this situation. I believe he has a secret to everything. Whatever Brooklyn becomes after KD and Kyrie, and whether or not it is a success, depends entirely, in my opinion, on Ben Simmons' growth into the player he was before, or Brooklyn getting out of that situation, just getting themselves out of it completely, and using that contract, along with some of the picks they received for KD and Kyrie, to add the creative that they need on this roster. And if they succeed, Brooklyn may have a very strong squad, and maybe Simmons ends up becoming that player. But this person was an Olympic caliber player, and I honestly don't remember this ever occurring to anybody else. You can mock Simmons all you want, as I stated at the outset, but he was fantastic overall, particularly defensively. In addition, despite the weaknesses in his skills on the court, aside from his poor performance versus Atlanta, we never saw him physically collapse totally. It's not like his ACL was torn. It's not like his Achilles was torn. It's not like the Gordon Hayward injury made him suddenly angry. He was already angry before that. This is bad. We have never seen an injury that would have required as horribly and miserably as he performed with Brooklyn, how awful he seems athletic. At certain places, even the passing material has entirely lost its grip. Simply said, there is no aggression, no defensive instincts, nothing. Not to minimize what he is going through, but he is not labeled, and to see all those things when you never even saw the man have a serious injury, he must be going through a lot since he doesn't seem to be as athletic as before. But if you're a viewer and a fan, you're accustomed to seeing this man be harmed and then suddenly change appearances or age. Nevertheless, this change from what we saw in Philadelphia before the playoff series against Atlanta to the player who is there now is unparalleled because there was no real solid physical evidence in between that we could ever see with our own eyes that would have required such a fall, particularly in a Brooklyn scenario that seems hopeful if they can resolve the Simmons mess. As I mentioned before, everything they do with Ben Simmons will determine if they can adapt to this new age of Nets basketball. We hope you enjoyed it and gained some new insights into this exciting NBA trade. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about this scenario? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more NBA content and analysis. Until next time, keep following your favorite teams and players, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.